but I wondered if the Attorney General could tell us that if, when this investigation is concluded, all the 50 email questionnaires come back, anyone is found to have breached lockdown re regulations, whatever their rank, can she confirm that they will face the same consequences as Joe Public did? And further to my honourable friend from Liverpool Wharton's question, if there's breaches of the ministerial code, will there be resignations? Attorney yeah. General. Well, the Prime Minister has made his position clear. I'm not going to add any more in light of the live police investigation. But she mentions the rule of law, and I would just say that fundamental to the rule of law is also democracy. And I'm very proud to be supporting this Prime Minister, a Prime Minister who's honoured democracy by delivering Brexit, a Prime Minister who's now leading not just the UK but the world in beating COVID. Mr Speaker, had the party opposite been in charge, they would have cancelled Brexit, not delivered it. We would have been in more lockdown, not less. Mr Speaker, on the big calls, Labour gets it wrong. We now come to Shadow Minister Andy Slaughter. Well, uh, thanks for that peroration, but uh, <laughs> to come back to reality, this week the Leader of the Opposition was obstructed while entering this House by disorder on the streets outside following the Prime Minister's inflammatory remarks at that dispatch box. It's the Attorney General's job to advise Ministers, including the Prime Minister, on acting in accordance with the rule of law. So what advice does she have now to prevent his behaviour leading to any further breakdown in law and order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony General. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, all violence is unacceptable. And I'm very grateful to those police officers who stepped in yeah, yeah. to assist the Leader of the Opposition. No one should have to endure that experience. The Prime Minister has spoken about the subject. I'm not going to add any more to his uh, comments. And as I said, what I will say is that on the big calls, Labour gets it wrong, and on the things that matter, this, this Prime Minister and this government is leading us through Covid and, and uh, in international diplomacy against Russian aggression. 